welcome 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 everyone welcome to today's thirstful thursday session hope my audio and video is clear for you super excited to connect with each and every one of you today we'll go ahead and rock every single thing about chat gpt because as business owners we should be updated about the marketing trends sometimes not just updated we need to be able to dominate every single in the dominate in the space of making use of the available accessible technology which can help you and me to catapult growth for our business and if this is your very very first uh, thirstful thursday session just go ahead and put first in the chat we would like to give you a very very warm special welcome <clears throat> into the gfi community i also take this opportunity to very very happily announce the very first confership event that gfi is bringing about in a second i'll go ahead and talk about that amazing so we have mr yogesh welcome to gfi mr karthikeyan mr kamalakannan ms reshma mr rajni welcome 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 to the gfi community and welcome all the other folks who are as usual being on fire in terms of learning and also implementing all your <clears throat> learning in your business as well so let me quickly go ahead and give you a screen share on our newest update like when you just go to the gfa website you will find that we have added a small word called confership business confership it's called biz confership and uh, very happy and delighted to share that we are going to be having our first confership event in the uae dubai on the 25th of march 2023 so if you are someone who is already in uae if dubai is just a little bit of a you know short distance for you just fly down to this particular event we will catch you and anybody and everybody in whichever part of the world you are in if you are able to travel and make it to dubai on these dates <clears throat> just fill the form and fill in the details our team will get in touch with you we would be will be really thrilled to have you there part of this event and technically or officially on that day of 25th march we will also be launching the dubai version of the gfi chapter so we'll be having a brand new chapter that's launched there and what is confership you may be thinking what is confership it is the uae's first first ever con confership probably we are the first one in the world to use that particular term uh, we are going to be offering a one day business conference clubbed with five years gfa membership so both put together is what we call it as confership so every single people person who becomes a member of gfi is invited for that conference and thus it's conference plus membership together it's confership and uh, you know this is what the content that we will cover an entire day and all the benefits that people would probably get and uh, you know go on with the implementation of these things as well so if you're super excited about this confership <clears throat> just give me excited and also share the news if you have your entrepreneur friends who are there in in uae or dubai or somewhere nearby just let them message across let them know if you want your friends to be get plugged into uh, gfi just let them know about the confership event and we would really love to accommodate them into uh, in this particular event as well so without much ado let's dive into the chat gpt okay so the whole world is actually talking about chat gpt so if you already know what is chat gpt just put uh no in the chat if you are not very sure about what this is and how i can use it for my business just put dk in the chat dk means don't know okay great and if you really know it just put no and if it's not known just put dk okay and if you know it that's great i think one or two insights that i'm going to be sharing could be a little bit of a wow for you but if otherwise that's fine but let me show you the power of you know what this chat gpt is all about so first let me give you a little bit of a, a business side of uh, chat gpt chat gpt is an ai powered tool uh, 
which would kind of pull a lot of information for you in text format, only text. It can be text in bullet format, bullet types, heading, content, long essays, paragraphs, even coding is form of text, right? So software coding and all those things, <clears throat> wonderful topics, blogs, articles, all those things would be text format. So for every prompt that you give, it'll give you a text. What is prompt? Prompt is you're giving a, you're giving a task. You're telling the AI to say, you know, write, write this one essay for me. That's called prompt. Prompt is a, is a direction you're giving into the software and the software will give you text. The only thing the software can push out is only text and a little bit of a business insight from the outside. You know, people used to say GAFA world, right? So GAFA, G-A-F-A, GAFA world. We, they say we are living in a GAFA world. What is GAFA? Is Google, <clears throat> Apple, Facebook, Amazon. So these four companies are kind of dominating uh, here and there. That's why people say we live in a GAFA world. Can you really get the feel or the sense that Microsoft being one of the leading player, not many people are actually talking about Microsoft. This is a very good business lesson for you that, you know, you have to be there on the market. When people are not talking about you, you have to do something to be on the, on the conversation. Almost YouTube is, is dominating the video market and almost, not almost, Google is dominating the search market. And Microsoft has a good product. Yeah, Bing, a search engine, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Teams, but, but not, not fast enough so that most of the world would know about it. Obviously, we are all irrespective of whether you are using a Windows system or an Apple system. I guess most of the people are using Microsoft Excel and MS Word and PPT, and there is no doubt, doubt about that. But uh, let me just put my point of view over here. By by you using uh, the old version or some version of uh, Windows product, Microsoft doesn't have your contact number. See, data is everything, right? So data is the world. Data is new business. So all the GAFA businesses, right? Google has your data. Google knows your home location, office location, probably GPA with your, uh, you know, GPA knows your banking balance. And with the Gmail, there's a little bit of a, you know, your, your business is being run on Gmail. So you know what, what I mean, right? So they have like most of the data that's going on with that. And if you go to Apple, yeah, Apple users, Apple has all the data of the Apple users and Facebook, obviously what not most of the, the biggest database is with Facebook because people are on WhatsApp, all WhatsApp belongs to Facebook, people are on Facebook. So your mail ID, phone number, everything is already there out there as well. And Amazon, only the Amazon users, are having uh, the Amazon data, but Amazon without a, without fail has the data of all its users. But if you look at uh, Microsoft, uh, I cannot really guarantee that, uh, you know, Microsoft has all the data of Microsoft users. You are a Microsoft user because you are using uh, MS Excel, you are using a word, you are using PowerPoint, but you know, that is not a tool where Microsoft can actually have access to your data as well. And this is one advantage now Microsoft is winning in the market because Microsoft will be able to have your data by means of chat GPT. Okay. So business next, let's first go to the product. <clears throat> this is a chat GPT's landing page. So all you need to do is just go and <clears throat> sign up. Okay. I'll show you how this works. It's free. Okay. It's, it's from the organization called open AI. Okay. I'll just go do a search called chat GPT. <clears throat> right. Chat GPT. I'm clicking here. It's taking me inside the website. I need to verify that I'm a human. Yeah, it's checking my browser and it's going to verify that I am a human. <clears throat> yeah, so I have to log in. Uh, first time when you're using, you have to create an account. So I'm going to click on sign up. Go to sign up. Just use one of your email ID. 
continue and it will send you a link to your email id just go set it up and give a password boom you're done otherwise click on continue with microsoft if you have a microsoft account or continue with google nowhere in any software they will have this option called continue with microsoft but here it is there because it it's it's tied up with microsoft right so otherwise you can just go to continue with google give your email id create an account creating account is simple right if it's simple just give me simple in the chat and let me now just go to cut this process and go to my direct chat gpt screen okay so i've just done this and i'm inside my chat gpt so i have completed all the signing up everything now i'm inside is chat gpt c free yes it is free but can chat gpt make money many things number one it is definitely a disruption in the market number two it's like it's going to be like the new google what people are searching on the internet for content chat G gpt is going to have the access for it okay so let me just remove all these scribbling that is there on the screen yeah and i will also lock the screen sharing to the host only option yeah used already addicted yeah superb <clears throat> so how these guys would be making money first is obviously they will they will know what people are searching what article people want to write See, there are, there are two sides of the world, okay? One is the creator side of the world and the consumer side of the world. As a business person, you have to be a creator. What is consumer? Consumer is someone who is digital consumer, okay? Digital content consumer. A consumer is someone who is spending hours reading articles, watching YouTube videos, looking at Instagram posts, just just consuming content all the content is going inside your head what a business guy should be doing is to be able to push the content outside is to be able to create content so what the consumers are searching google knows but what the creator creators are searching chat gpt will know that's the difference in the market if you spend one hour learning reading getting information from outside into your brain i would highly recommend as a business owner spend one hour and one minute additional to push content outside now chat gpt is making the life simple for many people to be able to push the content outside in a way if you look at it i wouldn't i wouldn't use the word ethically but i am forced to use that word over here in a way i wouldn't i wouldn't say that you know you have to use this only but I'm just telling you, life is made so simple. You like you have to literally think of the topic, write a long paragraph, then be able to push the content. But now, just like that, this website is going to be doing it for you. And I will be showing it to you now. Okay. So be committed to be a creator. Okay. Can you please give me in the chat one more time? <clears throat> creator. Creator. Just give me creator. yeah as a business owner we want you to be creator so it gives a very clear warning okay it can give you all the tough questions it can give you answers to many questions and it can give you ideas it can write software code script script many things and some limitation sometimes the content may be out of context sometimes what chat gpt is giving you will be like nuts okay but that's fine for the for the initial start See, is it the first of its kind in the world? I really wouldn't say that because a lot of other AI tools that is already in the market. But, uh, you know, they have focused on single most core competency. They have not tried to address all the problem. They have just tried to address one problem. Any challenge you have, I will give you a result in form of text. So who likes texts? The All the content creators likes text. As a business owner, tell me where do you want text? the typed text you want text for social media content you want text for your video you want text video description you want text for an article an essay a blog in your website and you want text to send mail to your customers 
you want text to put it up on your website. All these things. So maybe right now you'll be thinking, so what about the content creators, sir? Will they be losing their job? What about the software people? Will, be, will they be losing the job? My strong answer and my gut is that nobody is going to be losing their job because of AI, provided they are strong at what they do. Getting what I'm saying, right? Canva has not, uh, has not stolen the job of any Photoshop designer. Camtasia or Windows Movie Maker or app iOS, Apple Movie Maker or ScreenFlow app has not taken the job of any video editor. Provided these people are good. So if you are an individual, if you want to be good, you should be smarter than the AI which you are already, but you have to put that effect. You know, like just about a few weeks back, I was interacting to one of my friend. Uh, uh, he mentioned about a personality. Okay. He's a stand-up comedian. So he said he went to that event that stand-up comedian came. So my, what he told me, I didn't ask any feedback, but he himself was sharing, saying that same old stories, G, uh, same thing. All the old stories, still these people are not upgraded. Still the same comedy. What is this? Life is moving so fast. Use some good sense of humor. No, still having the same olden day comedy. So that's the challenge. If you're a creator, be creative. If your creativity is dead, obviously, I'm sorry to say the career will be dead. So that's the only thing. Individual website, designers, Photoshop people, content creator. Absolutely. There is so much of good reward for content writer, but they have to be like super good than the AI. AI is not like 100% too good and all. But if you want to give a wow feel, it can always come from the human being, right? So like with an emotional connect, all that actual content writers can give. But for you and me to start, uh, on the other side, because con because good quality content writers, good quality individual uh, artists and individual talented people will stay in the market. Mind you, they are going to be costly as well. So they are not going to be reachable or affordable for, for normal people. And then what would happen? There would be more adapters for AI for normal people. Like you're a startup company. Your budget itself for a new website is probably $100. And you're not going to be spending $300 for content for a $100 website. It makes sense if you want to attract international market. But it also makes sense to first see how many people are coming to the website. Then I will put more money on content. So maybe that kind of people will go for AI, artificial intelligence generated content. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, you said oh, updates. Yeah. After 20, yeah, from, from 2021 or 2022, the update is not done. So that is also one downside. But barring that, majority of the things can be done in this chat GPT. Okay, let me just get into some practical stuff. Okay. Let me start with a small thing. Okay. How to lose weight. Enter. Okay, let me just give a reload. And by the way, they also have something called as a pro version. Okay, you can see upgrade to pro plus. I'm on the free plan and it's free to use. Don't worry, they will not make it costly now. It's going to be free like WhatsApp. But there is also a pro version, which is about $20 per month faster response rate and all that, but it's not needed. Just stick to this, but I'm just, here's a business learning. Even when there is free, there is nothing free in this world, first of all. And if there is free, either it is for data or, you know, build the feasibility of the product and all that stuff, or it's for R and D. And parallelly, see how they also have a premium product or a pro product. There is an upgraded plan. Okay. So how to lose weight. 
See, it's giving me answer. Cool. We are okay. You have a pro already. Same time. Yeah, I think free is pretty good for now. You can see. If you're already getting a wow feel, just give me wow feel in the chat. And I'm going to give you more wows now. See, it's going to give me, it's giving me a lot of content. So I wanted, it is more like a Google search. Nothing big wow, but I will slowly increase the wow. Now you want to post something on your Instagram, right? So what would you choose? Now tell me your business category. I will try to run one or two prompts for your business. So you have to think you're speaking to a human, human content writer and type that answer here. That is called prompt and it will give you the response. Battery like completely what battery is it? Plastic moles. Okay. Give me a blog about plastic moles. Enter. Say it started writing. I, I just click on stop generating. It will stop. But I'm just giving you some example. Plastic molds are essential component of the plastic manufacturing process. They are used to create a wide variety of plastic products from small parts, to large component, blah, 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 goes on. Right? How to make digital signage? I will give you, Mr. Kumar Mani, I'll give you some wonderful thing I will run in some time. I'll, I'll just do that. Okay, this is cool, right? So I'm going to be stopping now. It's going to go on and on and on. Okay, injection mold, then it'll talk about all types of mold. Okay. Let's just wait maybe one or two. Injection mold, blow mold. Okay, mass, right? Your web, I mean, your, your article is ready. Your article is ready. So I'm going to stop generating. Okay. I will stop it now. So Mr. Kumar Mani does digital signages. Okay. Five reasons why digital signages are must for business. Give it. It's going to randomly pull data and it'll, it'll give you. Here are five reasons why digital signages are a must for any business. Number one, attract attention. See, so much of creativity. Now you take this content and do a little bit of an alteration and changing and then launch it. And uh, as this thing is running, you are also thinking whether there is plagiarism. Plagiarism means copied content. Whether, uh, you know, the, whether I'll, I'll have plagiarism issue. I will, I will solve that fear also for you right now. I will solve it. Let this just get completed. So it's attacked attention. Okay. I, I got five bullet points. No, let it write uh, two more articles. Okay. And, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this content and I will put it in this website called Q text. And this website will check for plagiarism. Plagiarism means stealing data or copying data from other websites. So I can check whether this data is good or whether it's stealed data or stolen data. So like I'm an author, I'm working on my next book. So when I'm working on my next book, I should be so smart in a way that my book's content cannot be generated by AI. So I have to be like, already I have done that, but 
every time i had to keep getting smarter right so that's 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 going to be the challenge of you know content creators content generators and individual um, you know special specialty driven people service professionals and all that stuff see we got a wonderful five point stuff now this five points you can create a swipe post for instagram and your instagram content is ready bingo okay so i will stop this now and i am going to copy these points and i will go to this website i will pay it's free i will paste my test text and i will check for plagiarism i will check whether this is copied or not inch by inch line by line it will check my words and it will tell me whether the content is copied or not it will not give the same output for everyone it's it's that's the power of ai it's like uh, there are hundreds of tins and hundreds of buckets and when you ask uh, content it will randomly choose four or five buckets and throw content at you for the next person it'll check for some other bucket and throw the content so the the chances of content coming together it's 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 just not the same it'll it'll just be different okay and let the plagiarism check be run running and i will go and run the next work here okay don't worry i will i will give you a wonderful tool to solve the plagiarism right now there's a wow tool i will give you that in in few minutes cloud product aws Lenovo laptop sales. Okay. So what I'm going to do is write a website, write, uh, no, write, write website content for, write website content for Lenovo laptop. it's just going to go on and on and on and on and on the website content is just going to be classic like this so what company do you have maybe you have a restaurant or a coffee shop or maybe textile design store textile store or organic shop kartigain yeah so i will stop this write website content for organic store bingo it's going to go like this okay first uh, i will i will rechange this what is the name kartikeyan i don't know so i'm just going to organic store and the name of the store is karthi karthi and it is located in chennai let's go Welcome to Karthi Organic Store, your one-stop shop for all your organic produce and products in Chennai. At Karthi, we believe in providing our customers with the freshest and highest quality organic produce that is grown locally and ethically. Our store offers blah 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 goes on and on and on and on. This is pakka mass. Just give me pakka mass. Now the challenge is, it is like a Ferrari car. You should know to drive a Ferrari car. Otherwise, Chat GPT will be like a bullock cart or a very 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 normal vehicle for you. So you should just learn how to use it. now this is not only for website content i will say for uh, give me four bullet points about losing weight give me four bullet points about losing weight
Sure, here are four bullet points about losing weight. To lose weight, you need to create a calorie deficit by running bone calorie, blah, 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 blah. A healthy and sustainable rate of weight of loss, one to two pounds per week. Incorporating strength training, exercise into your workout routine can help you build muscles and boost your metabolism, making it easier to lose weight and making small sustainable challenge, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, five facts about... Okay, let's not do three, five, let's just do three. Three facts about metabolism. It's just going to give you three facts about metabolism. Yeah, it's going to think and then it'll act. Just only one app. Just go to chat GPT, as I said in the beginning, and you just have to download and uh, sign up. You don't have to download. It's, it's the website itself. You just have to set up your account and create it. Okay, now you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with some wild examples. Okay, uh, but I am not advising you to use it in your daily life. But I'm just gonna go wild. Okay, so you're in school. Your kid is going to have an assess assignment about write an essay about India. Okay, let's go wild. Okay, write an essay about India. So it will start an essay on India. Copy paste. Print, deploy. See, it's very difficult for a human to write like this. No? You see, South uh, India is a country in South Asia with a rich history and culture that spans thousands of years. in the world's seventh largest country by area and the second most populous country with over 1.3 billion people. India is known for its diverse geography, vibrant color, tradition, unique. This is very difficult, man. Okay, now I will stop it. Okay. Translate the below content in Tamil, Hindi, Telugu, Arabic, whatever. Arabic. It's going to give me the content in Arabic now. Okay if, okay, if you don't want Arabic, I will just do Hindi. Translate to oh, German. Yeah. Okay, it's going to work on it. Okay. Good. I think Mr. Sassi is also sharing something. You can copy paste a customer email and ask to reply and ask to reply to the email. It will draft professional emails in seconds. Okay. Write a thank you email to Sassi for accepting the proposal. Imagine you are you are the business head and your name is jv you are selling software app solutions let's see what happens Yeah, if you translate to Tamil, sometimes it's not too good. That's why I said it will do a little bit of work from you. Then here and there you have to put your editing work. So it's it's writing a mail. So cool. Dear Sasi team, I'm writing this email to express my gratitude for accepting my proposal for software app solutions. It's a great pleasure to work with an esteemed organization like Sasi. We at company name, I didn't write that. No, we at company name are committed to delivering high quality, etc., 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 etc. Our team is excited to get started on this project. If you all start sending mails like this, imagine what will how how professional our companies will. We are all getting ready for truly global market. Once again, I would like to express my gratitude, etc., etc., etc. 
then let's see if it is giving me as a closing uh, this thing. So it's going on and on and on. Okay, so I'm going to be, okay, let it go on. Let's go to the other uh, plagiarism problem. Okay. Not the Lenovo, yeah. Signage. So this signage thing, I will copy it. Oh, we did the plagiarism check, no? See the plagiarism check, only 13% is plagiarism. I came here, yeah, 13%. So if this is cool, just give me cool in the chat. So it, it doesn't say there is no, only this one, two, and these three lines are found in other websites. Remaining content is not found in any website at all. Therefore, it is not a copied content. It is a new, fresh, creative content. Still, I will give you one more better tool, Mr. Kumar Mani and everybody who's wondering about it. Here is the tool. Quilio bot. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's Quillbot. I will go to Quillbot. Okay. Same content that I copied here, right? The content that I just copied here, no? Yeah. This content, I will copy it. I will go to Quillbot website. I will paste it and I will, okay, I will just take it till here because in free version only that much is allowed. I will go till here. I can sound standard, fluent, formal, simple, creative, expanded, shortened, all that. I will say standard and I will rephrase it. Can you see inch by inch everything is copied and it's changed? If this is also wow, just give me wow in the chat. Now I'm going to click and you see every single word has changed. It changed. It, it has changed. So when you run plagiarism test in this, it will say fresh content. Even a, I don't know if I can use this word, but even a professor or a teacher or any guru or software will not be able to find that this is a copied data. Now let's go to some more power. <clears throat> Let me go to a YouTube and uh, um, get fit. So I'll just say get fit. Get fit, fit fast. Okay, 12 lakh views are there in this video. Okay. I will copy this video and I will go to chat GPT and I will say summarize this video for me okay i think i have to change something can you okay get text from this video if this is terry just put terry in the chat now that video, I'm taking the script from that video. See, somebody spoke for 10 minutes. <laughs> somebody spoke for, I don't know how long. Okay, long, long minutes. Uh, but I'm taking all the text from that video. It's Jeff. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 programming languages for 2021. This list is based on the several factors, etc., etc. Fully it's coming. So I have to go and type here, get text from this video, then paste the link. That link is there. Okay. So now you want to. Uh, okay. There is rich dad, poor dad. This is a book. Okay. Very good investment book. Okay. What I'm going to do is I will go to chat GPT. Okay. I will stop generating text. I will go to chat GPT. Summarize the book. 
rich rich dad poor dad i don't have to read the book the full book is being summarized okay so now savajay kumar is very simple just uh, or in other words give me 10 bullet points from this video let's try if this works i have not tried this but let me try if this works from that video it's giving me 10 points okay in what basis in what basis google is reading your website my website everybody's website and giving in search google is able to bring information and give you in search chat gpt is able to process information and give you in form of text so you can just copy the text convert as video copy the text convert as blog copy the text put as uh, youtube description copy the text write as website content copy the text use it in your social media poster social media post for women's day belated women's day wishes to every single woman out there in gfi one more time see you can actually copy it and do it on this women's day let's remember the women have paved the way for us and honor who continue continue who continue to fight for gender equality let's stand together lift each other up and create a better future for women everywhere copy it and paste it in your social media put it on your twitter that's all there will no there will not be any copyright problem that's why i told you because if you go go and paste this in uh, the, uh, qtex it will not give you copyright if you have if you are still bother about copyright you just go to quillbot paste it rephrase it as a creative content and change it so you can rephrase you can choose how you want to rephrase also so it's changed and if you want to change something you can still go to rephrase and just go to the options to find it if you want to know cotton canvas customer listen you see you cannot do that but uh, database cannot be taken obviously that google will do you can put content like video website all those content can be generated you cannot get uh, data taking the data out is not possible but you can create it's a creation tool creating the content but if you want to uh, you know send an email to customer in usa about cotton canvas you can do that an article about cotton canvas in cotton cotton canvas usage in usa you can do something like this so even if you have a little knowledge about this somebody can gain it it's saying it's it's a versatile material used in united states for decades from tent tote bags canvas provide a reliable and durable material for a wide range of product etc 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 and uh, mr tirumai tirumalai sami there is some answer i can give you but it was reserved to some other session but i will give you a little bit here there is a website called dollar business as i said gf is also putting its foot into the import export right just go to this dollar business a lot of other websites like this 
Here, you can just go and set up your data. It will give you exact importer data in any country that you want. How many people are exporting the cotton canvas, you mean, or how many people are importing who's the largest exporter, largest importer, inch by inch, you'll get all the data from this website. Like just a lot of other websites. Now that's AI in a different form. But today we are going to stick to AI in this form. And are you ready for the last, uh, what to say, blaster? Okay. Wedding day celebration ideas. Okay. It will <laughs> give you. Right. If you're scared, if you're worried about chat GPT itself, five ways to use chat GPT. Now I'm going to give you the last uh, master blaster and be closing this event. If you're ready for the master blaster, just give me a ready. Mr. Kumar money is already super ready. Great. Let's go. So here's my last master blaster close. It, it, it basically means that you have to really use your creativity. You have to find a way to keep using it in a much more better way. Okay. I'm going to stop generating the content. Give me 30 days. Social media calendar in table format. It's free, 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 free. Yeah. How cool is this? For 30 days, what to post on social media? It is generating content for you. Just follow it. Very simple. So that's why it, it gives you in a shock that uh, you have to really be a pro to use it. I think sometimes it's like a Ferrari car. Uh, but you have to really use it like a Ferrari car. So that's what I, you know, just feel about this. Every single tool, use it, squeeze it, use it to the max, use it to the best. Okay. And uh, I'm just stopping to generate. I'm going to try something new. Uh, all these things so far, many things I've tried it earlier, but I'm going to try something new. Give me five days meal plan. Okay. For nutrition and diet also problem only. That's why, see, nutrition dietics will still have their job, but they have to be like super good, excellent. Okay. I will say, give me five day meal plan for high protein, low carb with low carb with Indian, okay, we don't want Indian, okay, Indian, Indian uh, food uh, menu in a table format. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat, that full week problem solved. And you can also have add biryani in between if you want, you can do that. Okay, so that's the blaster close for you. And maybe I'll just do a one last uh, change here. Give me 30 days social media calendar. For a battery and a UPS manufacturing, UPS selling company in table format. We'll not do 30 days. Give me 10 days. 
Yeah, we can also include condition as diabetic. It will give you. Sure. See, day one. Put, put image, photo of a battery with a caption. Don't let power outages disrupt your life. Keep your home powered with our reliable batteries. Wow. Content also given. Ma. Just to copy this, go and paste it in uh, uh, Canva and create a poster. And uh, I'm going to be doing some, I'm going to go extra wild for the next part of TT session for the Tamil version, where I'll be giving like very, very crazy AI tools. But some other day I will put that in English also. But I'm just telling you, see, day two, a video, video explaining the benefits of UPS, of electronic devices, blog post on importance of battery maintenance. Now you can go a blog post on importance of battery maintenance with tips on how to extend the battery life of your batteries. Copy, paste. Content also will give, be given by this particular lean mean machine. Okay, so that's it for today. Start signing up for chat, chat GPT. As I said, just go to this website. Click on try chat GPT. You just need to give your mail ID and activate your account. It will also, also ask for your phone number. As I said earlier, Microsoft did not have a way to get all our contact or phone numbers. Now that Microsoft has this product, this is the product that Microsoft, I think, is going to get most of the database. And it's not just getting database of users. It is going to get database of influences. That's the powerful thing. So with this data, Microsoft can come up with a lot of useful tools and softwares and apps. Maybe the content creators or the influence like you and me, influencers, influencers like you and me would be using it as well. So who knows what the future holds or looks like and the best way to go ahead and create it. Right now, this is there. As the trends are changing, as new things are keeping uh, keep on coming into the market, we'll keep sharing more about that. All the best. Start using ChatGPT. Rock your business. I want to see more content. Okay. Um, I'll be happy to see your blog post or articles in the GFA community app. Just use the GFA website, go to click community, go to be a GFA community, start posting some of your content. Hereafter, use very good content to send to your customer. Content for WhatsApp, content for mail, content for messaging, for everything. All the best. James Vineet signing off.